Hello my friends on YouTube. Today is May 30th, Sunday May 30th, 2021. We'll continue with the subject about what's going on in Israel between the Israeli and the Palestinian or rather between no, the, not the Palestinian actually between uh, Israel and Hamas uh, I'm going to put a link very important link to a young man uh, his name is Mus'ab Hassan Yusuf he wrote a book called the son of Hamas and this young man he is a son of one of the seven founder of the organization Hamas which was or, which was established 1988 this young man he grew up in that organization and he was working for that organization and he was spying for that organization and he was imprisoned because of this organization and finally he made the decision when he can see clearly that this is a propaganda there is no uh, no sincerity really there and it's all using an ideology called Islam to justify what they are doing so I believe he must have studied he is not a dumb guy you, you can see from his speech uh, he must have studied Christianity and Islam in depth probably also Judaism and he made the decision to actually leave Islam became a Christian and he left Hamas and he worked for he spied for Israel 180 degree opposite why did he do that he's not a dumb guy why the reason is when you really come close to understand these people and how sick and twisted they are you don't wonder so much why did he do that uh, who won who won this war normally any war everybody is a loser however overall there is a winner and there is a loser we cannot deny that the iron dome that israel had uh, protected the nation of israel a lot nobody can deny that however it gave 90% protection and the other 10% of the rockets some of it fell on Israel which caused some death and some injury and in Israel each life is precious is valuable is not like in the Islamic tradition unfortunately you are supposed you are supposed to perform jihad for the sake of God and it's an honor to die in this jihad while you are invading other people and killing men and raping women it's an honor and if you die you go to your 72 virgin sick twisted ideology let's all say it let's all say it the organization of Hamas was and is a branch of the Muslim Brotherhood and the Muslim Brotherhood they don't teach Buddhism they don't teach Hinduism they are not Saints they teach Islam okay they teach Islam and when you re when you listen to this Palestinian man who was born to one of the leaders of Hamas 
it's it's not easy it's not easy to turn your back on your father mother brothers and sisters your whole family your tribe your nation turn around and walk hand in hand in what's called the enemy the Israelis and this what this man did when he saw the sickness that it's surrounding this ideology and the sickness that it's and, and the violence unjustified violence uh, and the propaganda they use so while they are living in mansions these leaders of Hamas living luxurious life I mean you can Google this man he has many speeches and he has a book you can read his book uh, it's called the son of Hamas or, or I'm sorry son of Hamas and uh, to make this sacrifice that's not easy plus he is wanted now by these people they will pay money to get him killed all that is not easy but he made that decision because he is from the he's an insider and he saw for himself what's going on so in terms of winning of course Israel won militarily but the emotions which Hamas really mastered this element the work on the emotion of the average person and most of most people especially in the West if you take a survey and go in your downtown and stop random people and ask them what is the root cause of the Israeli Palestinian problem I bet you from 100 people maybe one will be aware of what's really going on and because of that unawareness Hamas or the Palestinian propaganda machine supported by Al Jazeera which was established by Qatar Muslim Brotherhood in Qatar supply the money to open this propaganda arm uh, when one of these rockets that they were supposed to go to hit Israel falls because it's either they are idiots they don't know how to use it or it's a, a it's a bad weapon it falls on the Palestinian innocent people and explode once it explodes it kills and it destroys and it it creates terrible things what happens Al Jazeera runs quickly and take photos and videos of the destruction and look see how what the Israeli they are destroying us huh? they show you blood of young kids or dead children or limbs flying away why because the average person makes his 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 or her decision based on emotion or they show you a woman raising up her arms in the to the sky as if she is praying to God to help the innocent people from the injustice that they are experiencing from the Jews and the Jews according to Quran they are the descendant of the pigs and the monkeys and it's also uh, rats rats okay so the rats are doing that to the human and the average person unknowingly yes we won't sympathize with a child who is injured or dead or with his mother or his father or her mother but without knowing the whole picture that 
This is just a propaganda. Yes, the Palestinian won. They won on, on the price of the children and the women who were killed on the homes that they destroyed by their stupid rockets and, and unwise decision that they made to come to that conclusion. So in terms of winning and losing, yes, militarily Israel won, but morally in front of the world. I'm sorry to say that, but morally the, the, the Palestinians or the Hamas, I'm sorry, I keep mixing. There is difference between the Palestinians and Hamas. The, pers the, the group who takes the supposedly the higher moral ground is the, the, the Hamas because of their propaganda. No wonder Israel, the first thing destroyed was the tower and they ordered the people to leave. Why the tower? Because the t first the tower is the main source of that propaganda, number one. Number two, rockets were shot from that building towards Israel. And I'm going to, some people may not agree with me or say, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to give you a personal experience, a personal experience. I believe it was either 1968 or 1969, I was a young boy going to school and suddenly that was after the war of 1967 between Egypt and Israel when Egypt lost the Sinai Desert. There was kind of like skirmishes here and there between the two countries and I heard that there was a school that it was flattened by the Israeli. Egyptian school, it was flattened by the Israelis. As a child, this this sounds terrible. I mean, that's not really uh, a moral thing to do. You can hit a military target, but a school? Days passed, and I was upset with that subject, but days passed, and I was drafted to the Egyptian military. And it happened that I went to that exact location, the eastern part of Egypt. And the school was called Madrasat Bahr al Baqar. And I saw that school, and it was flattened. When I asked, what, why this school was. Of course, there, there was many military units around this school too. When I asked why this school was destroyed, what I found out is it was used to... Uh, uh, there was, uh, how do you say, ammunition in that school. The military, Egyptian military, used to sleep and stay in that school. So, if you use a church, if you use a mosque, if you use uh, a hospital for military use to shoot people from there, that church, mosque, or hospital is a military target. These are rules of engagement. You use human shield. to harbor military target, it is all a military target. And that the Egyptian government back then did. And that's what uh, Hamas was doing. So You use human shield to protect military target, all of it becomes military target. But 
you come out after it's done and you show the blood you cause that bloodshed okay if you use a military target far away from civilians yeah well two two armies are fighting okay and if a soldier gets killed and you try to do propaganda he's a soldier that's his job to fight and die so in term of winner and losers uh, winner and loser the israeli military won but externally the group that actually takes the higher moral ground in front of the world because of the propaganda the palestinian one or i'm sorry hamas one therefore we have i i feel i have an obligation to talk and we all should talk about that please watch that video thank you very much and we hope to hear from you